Premier Robin Anabanja has told hundreds of Tororo residents that she has already met the head of state about the fertilizer factory and government is considering a joint venture partnership. Yesterday we had a meeting with the president and the president is very categorical. We have to make sure that that factory goes back to its functional status. We have attracted other investors from UAE and those people want to co-invest with the current investor and that will be uh, functional again. Nabanja assured Ugandans that the government program of parish development model must succeed and ask the public to report any issues affecting the implementation of the program for immediate action. Anybody who doesn't know about PDM, if there are issues, we shall handle those issues and PDM must succeed. If there are parishes which have not got money, we are going to work around the clock and make sure that they get the money. Dabanja supported women vendors with 20 million shillings as seed capital and asked them to make proper use of the funds. Professor The family of late Mze Ofono launched a book in his memory and contributed 15 million shillings towards church construction. Today, as a family, we are contributing in two ways. The first one is in honor of our father, we have uh, contributed, we are going to contribute 10 million towards the construction of the church in memory of our father and all that he did as him, as a Christian committed and the developments he did in the church. And on behalf of our mother, we are contributing five million because our mother mobilized communities, mobilized women to look at the ambience and the activities in the church. The Prime Minister bought President Yoweri Museveni's portrait amounting to shillings two millions, while her portrait was bought at 1.8 million by Ofono's family. The fundraising drive was graced by the State Minister for Defence, Jacob Obothoboth, Presidential Advisor, Odrek Rabogo, Members of Parliament, NRM Electoral Commission Chairperson, Professor Tango Doi, and local leaders, among others. Jethro Asaiji, UBC News.